Hey guys, this is the uh, second how-to video. In the first one, we showed you how to uh, get to your Minecraft folder, an easy method that worked on any version of Windows and probably most versions of Linux. Uh, today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to back up your world files. So what are the world files? Basically, when you play the single player version of Minecraft, you have five slots for worlds. Each one of these takes up a uh, directory in your saves folder in Minecraft. And it's basically a copy of the world. Now you may want to know why would you want to back this up. Well I have heard reports at least with older versions of Minecraft where people have had their world files get corrupted. So if you have a backup and your world gets corrupted you'd be able to at least come back to it from whatever point in time you made that backup. And if you're like me you spend a lot of time in the world uh, doing lots of stuff, building lots of stuff you'd hate to lose it. So that's one good reason. Another good reason is if you have, say, a hardware problem with your computer. Maybe your hard drive crashes. Maybe, you know, there's some natural disaster, flood, fire, or whatever. Um, so there's multiple types of backup you can do, and we're going to describe them uh, all here. Alright, so let's discuss um, different backup methods. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is if you're going to do backups to your system itself, be it a local drive, maybe a flash drive, or whatever, and then we're going to talk about a, a, a internet-based backup method. But let's go ahead and first make a, a backup. So we want to get to our Minecraft folder. So we'll use the technique from our first video where we go into the texture pack uh, section and open the texture pack folder. You can see here is the texture pack directory, but we want to go back a directory to Minecraft and then to our saves folder. Now here you can see we have our five worlds. Um, we're only going to show how to back up one file uh, one world file. Uh, in my case world 4 is my most important one. Now you could simply just right click on world 4 and select copy. Don't cut it and if you if you drag it don't move it if you drag it to a different drive or to a different directory. So let's just say right click copy. I could go into my backup folder and then say right click paste. And it's going to start to actually make a, a copy. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and just cancel this because we really we really don't care. But when it was finished, you'd have your World 4 folder, which would be a copy of this World 4 folder. Uh, that's one method of doing it. Another method that I like to use, I don't actually like to just do the click and drag method. I like to make a, a archive of the World 4 file, so I have one single file that is a backup of this entire directory. Because if you look inside here, you'll see that there's a ton of, of folders with other folders inside that, with files inside that. Uh, it's a really messy structure. So what I like to do, just so I have a single file backup, is I will right click on the folder and I'll say add to world4.rar. This is WinRAR, but if you have WinZip, you'll probably have an option that says create world4.zip. You know, if you're using 7-zip, you know, there's going to be a lot of different uh, archive applications. But we're going to use uh, this one and uh, this one moves pretty quick. Um, when this process is done, this world4.rar file is a compressed archive of all of the files. This is much easier to, to move around and to keep track of than having world4 and you know a folder copy and then having to worry about all those files inside it. So you can see here we're done. One thing I like to do real quickly after I make a backup is I like to add a date code to it. So in the case of this video, it was February 8th, 2011. Now you can see that information is here in the uh, file attributes, uh, but sometimes people like to view their icons like this and you don't see the date code unless you click on it and then look down here. Um, so I like to put the date in the name. You don't have to do that, it's up to, up to you. But now, here you can see we have a backup. So literally I could go ahead and move this to my backup folder. And this is a much better backup, in my, you know, as far as I'm concerned, than, than having just the, the folder. We'll go ahead and delete that since it was a partial copy anyway. So here's our World 4 backup. You'll notice that it's pretty much the same size as the original. It didn't compress well, and that's because there's a ton of files. Now if you're going to do a backup uh, like this, where, which is what I've just done where you've got a backup folder, these are all on my C drive. So if something happens to my C drive, I'll probably lose my Minecraft uh, files in the Minecraft folder and I'll probably lose my backup. Um, so it's better if you're going to take this World 4 file and copy it to a separate drive or a USB stick or something, maybe burn it to a CD or, or a DVD or whatever. 
then you have a method that if if you have a failure with your main drive, it, it you know you'll have an actual legitimate copy that you could still use. Uh, be aware that if you copy it to your D drive or an E drive or whatever, uh, if your drive is if you have a single drive in your computer that's partitioned into multiple um, drives, if you copy this world 4 to drive D and drive D is just a separate partition on the main your main drive if the main drive dies you will probably lose both partitions anyway so be aware that if you do back up to another drive make sure it's a it's a physically a separate drive and that way you have some redundancy all right so that kind of tells you how to do a backup you know get the rar file and move it to local folders um, we're going to go ahead and discuss the internet based options next Okay, so let's talk about a backup method uh, that uses the internet. And now, you know, we talked previously that, you know, it's nice if you do a backup to like a USB stick or a separate drive so that if something happens to your C drive, you still have your, your world files. But let's take that a step further. Let's do a backup to the internet because say something happens where you're using a laptop as your main system and somebody steals your laptop. Well, you've lost your backup unless it's on a separate USB stick. Uh, but you've lost your entire, uh, all your files your, in your your Minecraft game and your and your your saves. So if you do a backup to the internet, then you have a method of if you get a new computer or you have multiple computers, you can copy this backup amongst them. What I like to use is a free service called Dropbox. Uh, you sign up for a free Dropbox account and you'll get two gigabytes of space. I'm going to put a referral link in the notes and pop it up on the screen here. And you can use this if you wish, you do not have to. Uh, but if you do use it, instead of two gigabytes of free space, you'll get two and a quarter gigabytes of free space. And they'll also give me an extra quarter gigabyte for my free account. You do not have to do it. You know, this is not some technique. I'm not making any money off this. Uh, literally, the only thing I would do was get some, would be to get some extra space. And so would you. Uh, but if you've already got a Dropbox account or you wanted to sign up for one, um, just feel free to go to dropbox.com and and sign up directly. Uh, you can use the referral link if you wish. But once you've got Dropbox loaded on your computer or your computers, you can actually then copy anything you copy into your Dropbox folder on your on your main drive will get uploaded to their server and stored in your free 2 gigabyte private account. So basically this gives you an off-site backup of all your important files. Now, in order to do the backup, literally, if we take the World 4 file that we backed up earlier, drag it to our Dropbox folder, move it in there, as soon as you move it, a little Dropbox client that runs on your computer will see that there's a new file in your Dropbox folder, and it will send it up to Dropbox server. Now, if you have multiple computers linked on your Dropbox account, you can actually, you'll actually see a little message pop up on those other computers that say a new file has been added, or maybe a new file has been modified. So once you do that, you've got your backup on the Dropbox servers and you can access it from any of your other computers if you have multiples or any new computer that you may add. So you have a nice permanent backup. One thing that's also nice is Dropbox gives you a public directory on your Dropbox account that you can put files and then give links to people. One reason I mention this is one of the cool uh, things that we're doing with the crew videos now is we've got the new crew quest, which is a um, series of quests that I'm going to be creating for the girls and you've probably seen the first uh, two episodes of the crew quest episode 0 and 1 uh, and I know a lot of you have talked about wanting to create quests for the girls so how could you do that well load up your minecraft create a world on your single player game or use a current world that you already have build the quest kinda like I did in my video you could get more detailed you could get less detailed make the quest and when you're done back up the world file as we've shown make a zip file or a rar file or a gzip file out of it take that file and then you can send it to me now how could you send it to me well you could put it on your website if you have one and I could download it you could use a file share site or you could use the public directory in your Dropbox account um, then I get that world file and I can put it on our multiplayer server and the girls can actually play your single player world in multiplayer and solve your quest and when of course they would do that I would record it and then put up a video or videos depending on how long the quest is of the girls playing you know in the world you created the quest you created so use this technique for that 
So anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a private message. Um, if you have any suggestions for other how-to videos, let me know. Uh, but hopefully this showed you a great way to make a backup of your single player worlds and um, how to upload them to the internet or just create a backup on your system. Talk to you guys later.